Hello everybody, this is Stefan Landhofer from C Quality Software Engineering. We are a software engineering company from Austria that provide cute applications. But in the last year uh, we more and more get inquiries. Should we take HTML based applications or should we go for cute when uh, we want to implement a application on an embedded hardware? This is just a demo, a uh, Raspberry Pi demo hardware that uh, is used for the uh, fair here in Nuremberg. Yeah, what you can see here, it's basically the same application with two different technologies. This is cute. You can see it's very smooth. It uses OpenGL, all the bells and whistles from the QML stack. You can zoom up here at something with two fingers, multi-touch, blurring graphics effects. So, uh, virtual keyboard. All the things you get for free when you use Qt. On the other hand, here there's HTML. Some things work quite good as well, but you can already see that it's not so smooth. Of course, it just only uses the CPU here to render. You would have to tweak it that it also uses OpenGL. There's some minor issues here. It doesn't work here, so it works in another browser. Uh, you don't have a virtual keyboard here. The switching the screen yeah, it takes one or two seconds. Maybe it's okay for some applications, but if you want to have the best user experience, the best performance, we rather recommend go for Qt. And yeah, then you may be better off. And, and uh, what was the development time for each um, of the, the systems? He never developed any QML. We put three weeks here, and this was the outcome. Then the same developer used AngularJS with HTML three weeks and this was the outcome so and he didn't know HTML uh, 5 either no he knew HTML but AngularJS ah. this framework was quite uh, yeah it's, it's a but he did framework. not know Qt and uh, he actually he got further he was familiar with C++ but uh -huh. QML was also some kind of new so we think that it's fair this comparison and uh, yes um, it should be an objective decision made possible by this comparison and yeah, thank you.